Hello， 大家好，欢迎回来。我们这一周继续讲你是哪国人 ，What's your nationality? So today is the lesson three of the book workbook two, and during this lesson we will be asking our family about their nationalities. So let's go down. Let's have a look of the keywords and sentences of this week. For this week, we have a lot of vocabulary and one sentence to learn. But most of the vocabulary are the ones we have learned before. For example, the first one, 人人人 is person. We have talked about it since lesson one. 人 is person. And then second one, 家人家 is family home. 家人 together family members. Number three, 爸爸爸爸 dad. So that sounds pretty much the same in every language. Papa, the one with the mustache and glasses. So that's how we write Papa. Okay, when you write it, don't forget there's a little hook at the end. So when you write it, it goes all the way down and up again. Number three is Mama, Mama. That's Mom, Mama. So. One side that's the girl side, and the other side shows you the sound ma. That's horse, but together ma. So mama, that's mum. You will see the、uh, girl part again in another word later. Now again, the dad part, the mustache part, the mustache part goes here again. That's yeah 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 yeah. Like how we say yay yay yeah yeah. Okay. So grandpa, yeah, yeah, but two, but you need to be careful. That's dad's father. So yeah, yeah, that's daddy's father. And then daddy's mother, that also has the girl part. Uh, that's nai, 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 nai. So that's grandma, but that's dad's mother. Okay, then for mom, we also have grandpa. But in Chinese, it's not just grandpa. It's a different name. It's called Wai Gong, Wai Gong. So that's mom's father. Now for mom's mother, we have Wai Po, Wai Po. So Gong normally means elder man, and then Po means elder lady. So Wai Po, that's grandma, mom's mother. Mom, father, Wai Gong, mom, mother, Wai Po. Okay, so all these words we have learned before. We are not going to talk about siblings, and I will tell you why later. So that's a quick revision of our family members, and let's go down to see the nationalities. We have got we have learned these countries last week,、um, but today it's a little bit different. When we talk about nationality, we change China to Chinese, America to American, Britain to British. But now in Chinese, it's a little bit sim、uh, simpler than that. So in Chinese, we have a lot of things, just like our math formula. So we have the country plus 人 that's the nationality. For example, 中国人中国人 Chinese. So let's see. How do we say American in English? We we have e s e. Sometimes we have we add one n at the end. Sometimes we have British. That's irregular. French from France. That's irregular. But in Chinese, we just add 人 to the end of everything. Okay. So let's go through these words quickly because we have learned countries already. Now, so first one, 中国人 Second one. 美国人，美国人。Third one， 英国人，英国人。Number four， 法国人，法国人。嗯 ，and the second line， 日本人，日本人。So all the Jun words has been is in a different color. So that's that shows you we only add Jun to make it into the nationality. So 
After that is 韩国人，韩国人。Oh, let's practice our head nodding technique. So again, remember, 印度人 We had go down, go down. This one, 越南人 So that's Vietnamese. After that, 新西兰人。新西兰人 ，so we just add 人 to 新西兰 New Zealand. After that, 意大利人，意大利人 ，Italian. And after that, 黎巴嫩人 ，Lebanese. 黎巴嫩人 And after that. 澳大利亚人，澳大利亚人。Okay, so that's all the nationalities we will be learning this week. And after that, that's on the only sentence we will be using in this week, which is 你是哪国人？你是哪？国人 ，What's your nationality? So to respond to that question, you need to say, 我是中国人，我是澳大利亚人。Okay. Activity one this week, we only have two main activities today. Activity one. Last week, every Australian resident needed to conduct the census 2021. Like census, you are now asked to investigate your family, culture, background. Okay, so for this task, you need to do two things. First, you need to investigate. Second, you need to speak. Now, to do the investigation, you need to use the key sentence. 你是哪国人 to ask your family members about their nationalities. Record your Answer in full sentences using Chinese or Pinyin. Now, because we are asking about family background, that's why we don't talk about siblings because we are all from the same parents. We are only going to talk about our parents and their parents. That's why we only have 爸爸妈妈爷爷奶奶外公外婆 So only only six. Family members. So underneath, there will be a table for you to write down your result. Now, we have the structure here. So we begin with whose. So let's start with 我的我的 my 爸爸 Which family member is it? That's 爸爸 for the example here. Now. After that is, 是是 for is are was were we only have 是 so when you need to talk about is are there we only have 是 here. Okay, what nationalities? You need to fill the blank with the nationality, the country. So for me, 我的爸爸是中国。人 ，so I will write down here. My father is a Chinese. And underneath, I can write down. Only for the first one to show you what it means, I have "ren" in a separate box. But underneath here, they will be written together with the country. The second one would be about your mama. So let's write down it together. 我的妈妈。是
I want you to look at how I write each word. So for me, 我的妈妈是 人 Finish the sentence. Okay. Now, I have one great line after each white line. That's for you to write down the English. So you remember which one is your mom, which one is your white gong, which one is your white poor. So you have to write down English as well. My mom is Chinese. Now you also need to fill the rest of your table. Um, it's okay if you are, if you are not living with your grandparents. Um, you can ask your parents about their cultural background. Activity two, you will reflect on the language you have learned in this unit. So you will need to do a reflection, like our lesson one. To do a reflection, you need to. Think about the words for countries and nationalities in Mandarin. In English, there are patterns such as Australia, Australia, change to Australia, Ren, Australian, Yindu, India, change to Indian, Zhongguo, China, change to Zhongguo, Ren, Chinese. 日本, Japan, 日本人, Japanese. Okay, so first question, what patterns are there in Chinese? Okay, um, so when we changed from country to nationality, what is the pattern? Um, are there any rules we need to follow? Okay, so write down your own words. Uh, what are the patterns? What the patterns are? Now, second one, are there any unusual countries uh, and nationality pairs such as France or French, but in Chinese this time? So in the table we have on page one with all the countries, do you notice any um, pair that's unusual or is there anything that's unusual in English, but um, it has a different pattern in Chinese? Write down your own words. So there are the two activities for this week, but that's not all you have to do. On your teams, you'll be given some extra challenges or extension tasks. So that's what you will be doing. If you haven't done the extension from the last few weeks, you need to do it this week. If you have finished and your teacher has been giving you the quiz to do, you will need to do the quiz this time on the teams. So we only have two main tasks on the handbook, but we will have extension tasks on Teams. Make sure you do that on time and submit it once you finish. Um, for the best result with all the tasks, we notice that it's the best if you print everything out. If you use the word to do it digitally, all the pain will be on the side and the format will look very strange. Um, if you print the PDF document out, it will look normal and everything will be uh, within the space. Otherwise, it will be everywhere and it's very hard for you to understand what it means again. So if you have a printer that's working, please use the printer to print and then use the scanner or even just take photos and send them to your teams for us to mark. Um, in that case, it will be the best result for you to learn the words and sentences. Alright, so that's it for today. We'll see you next week.